Well, this is Hiro again. Uh, it's been about eight, nine months uh, since we uh, first saw these two Japanese black pine. Uh, these are the youngest ones that I have. And, well, you know, when you're making these uh, chapters, you want to be entertaining and educational at the same time. And sometimes uh, they will be in conflict. Uh, too much education gets boring. But anyway, I, evidently there is a, a need for very basic knowledge for black pines. So anyway, I thought I'd get to the second step. So those of you that's been following, you saw me, I think, early in the year work on this. Uh, and now we could work again. Okay, so let's start with this very young one here. I think this is only the second year or something like that. Well, let's uh, kind of review how the black pines grow. You see this one came up and this, well, uh, there was a, a cluster that was up there. There was a cluster like that. So here and then this one here. Uh, this is a center that came straight up. So this, the center part came like that. You notice that there is very little, if any, taper between here and here. And that's why we almost always remove the center candle. The, we, the reason we didn't remove it is this one here, because it was a little bit too weak yet. But now that it's gotten a little bit older and a little more growth on it, we could start to think about that. Now we always talk about the roof flare. Well, this is too young, so don't worry about the roof flare. But then we start to talk about the movement and taper. Well, we could create movement by a number of different ways, right? We could take uh, wire, some people do to take the wire, but I don't recommend the wire because these grow so fast that it will damage the tree before you get to it. So we could do it with string or uh, with a stick. But what I usually try to do is to do it sort of naturally. So if we go up this line and cut this off, right, then this becomes the new leader. Well, look at the difference between here and here. That is a natural taper. Okay, now it's rather abrupt. This is much thicker than this one. But remember, on the black pine, they tend to be top growers. So these will fatten up very fast. That's one of the reasons for avoiding the wire. So that, uh, you, well, you could use the wire, but you got to remember to take it off. And it could be months before uh, it starts damaging. Anyway, so if I cut it off here, and then this will eventually become like this, right? Well, we got a little branch here that becomes a side branch. So it becomes perfect. You let this grow, and then you cut it, and then you let it grow and cut it, right? So, very exciting. Ta da! <laughs> hey, isn't that exciting? That's what I was talking about uh, how to make uh, interesting videos when there is not that much to do. Okay, so this is going to go back and being grown to the next stage. On the next stage, when it gets like this, we remove the center candle and then leave one that becomes the new leader. And then in time, we'll take these and break it off, make it side branch. Other thing about, about uh, black pines is when you have this young, this way, if you have this young juvenile type uh, needles, if you cut like this, you'll re sprout here. As it gets sparse like this, it gets less of a chance, but it should be still fine. But if you were to cut it right here, nothing will usually happen. Okay, those are just 
basic fundamentals. Okay, here's the other one. Well, you know, I was looking at this tag, and I, evidently the last time I shot this, there was three of them, but I can't remember where the third one is. So anyway, this, we're gonna do two. See, the tag says three. This is the second one of the three. Well, okay, so back to this program here. Well, everything grew. Some of this is getting a little bit on the heavy side, what you should have to do is stay focused on your main line. This is the main line that determines your style, right? So I'm thinking, looks like the front is about here. And it goes up this way. And this big thing is in your face. So, what I'm going to do is cut it off here but I think I want to cut it off completely but just in case I change my mind I'm gonna keep it uh, till the last minute okay so now you're looking at this and you're going up this line and what do we do we could go this way uh, we could cut here and go that way or we could cut it down to here and go that way See, so we've got all these possibilities that uh, you have to decide. You don't have to make exact ones, but like right here, we have two branches, right? We don't need both. But if this is going to become the new leader going up this way, then we should decide on one or the other. But if it's just a side branch, either one would work. Look like this was cut here and then this. So probably this slightly weaker one will be better side branch. So I cut it off here. Yeah, because we got little little things growing right here, right? So now this one going up. Definitely, you see how strong this growth is? Uh, that we will not use this as the apex because it's so uninteresting. So we'll cut it back to here. And let this pop. And then we'll decide at that point how to uh, proceed on. But you can see now you've got this line here going up, going up, going up. It might go this way, it might go that way. It's still a possibility it could go that way. There's a less likelihood of going this way, but it kind of channels you into different choices. Now this one, so once again, um, when it's this young, we will not have uh, hardly any uh, roof flare. This one might be down. There might be a roof flare down below. Uh, probably this spring will pop this out and then work the surface roots. Look at this stuff here that's coming up. So uh, like we're in the first week of September and I think at this point this is good enough. So always think in terms of the trunk movement see this one has interesting movement and then the taper and so in terms of taper there's from here to here not much so let this one get strong and cut it off here you will have more dramatic uh, angle which is the movement and then this will give you a better taper, but it doesn't have to be done today. So I'm going to do this. I mean, I've done this. I'm going to let it go. And then hopefully this coming spring, I'll show you these two again. <laughs> and if I can remember where the third one is, I will show you three. But at least these two are the very, very beginning stages. So I think for those of you just getting started, 
uh, you have shown interest in these, so I'll continue this program on, okay? So anyway, this has been uh, Japanese black pine in very early stages of development. So I'll see you again real soon in another chapter. Thank you so much. This is Hiro saying goodbye. Oh yeah, uh, I'm going to feed these heavy. And then there was a question, what do you mean by heavy? Well, you know what? You should read the package. Usually on the fertilizer package, they'll say light, medium, and heavy uh, feeding. Um, most of you should stay with light or medium feeding because if you screw up and get too much on there, you could do more damage than good. But uh, yeah, I think most people tend to feed everything as a bonsai. These are not even bonsai yet. These are in training to become bonsai. They're very young, so they should be fed fairly heavy. And you could define your own heaviness, okay? Um, there's a lot of questions that are being asked that's already on my uh, channel. Uh, well, I have 800 some odd uh, chapters now, so everything that you've been asking is already on the uh, channel. How you're gonna find it is another story. But anyway, uh, Anyway, I guess I'll just keep repeating some of these important things about feeding and things like that. But uh, if you look hard enough, everything that you ever need to know about bonsai should be already on my channel.